Hey yo, are you ready to go? Ten? Sweet. I'll be taking a shower then. My clothes and hair are all stiff and covered in wax from this one dude whose quirk went out of control and was secreting candle wax or something from their skin. It was kind of gross, but weirdly felt nice. The wax that was being secreted was pretty hot, but it was just cool enough to not burn. <laughs> I think it awakened something in me. We need to try it out sometime. <laughs> That shower was refreshing. Are you ready now? Oh. No, nothing's wrong. Y you just look so... attractive. Damn, they look so hot! Kinda a waste for them to look so good just for nobody to see their beauty. Well, I'll see it anyway. <clears throat> hmm? Where are we going? Well, I'll personally be flying you to an undisclosed location, so for now I need to blindfold you to ensure you're not peeking. Totally not suspicious and no nefarious motives at all. It's up to you whether you believe me or not. Now, I know we haven't been able to go on any long dates since our schedules have been clashing, but I hope you'll appreciate what I've prepared. <laughs> You're so sweet. Mwah. We're here. Surprise. Isn't it beautiful? Ah, I just love sitting on the roofs of these skyscrapers and looking at the city during my breaks or after work. It's relaxing. But also, I can monitor the city as well. Well, if you're done looking around, if you look to your right, I have something else prepared too. Yeah, I kind of set this whole thing up during my breaks today. Stole the table and chairs from my agency and the tablecloth as well. Also took some flowers from around the building and spread the petals out. The candles aren't from the cork dude from today, I, I promise. I had someone buy them for me in advance. <laughs> Along with the picnic basket with tonight's dinner. I really hope you're satisfied with this. I had a lot more prepared in my head, but I only had so much time to execute it. Whoa, hey, let me wipe those tears for you. Don't want to ruin that pretty face of yours with these tears. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoyed the surprise. I hope you like tonight's dinner as well. I have a deluxe chicken Florentine pasta, some garlic bread. Oh, ha, 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 chicken, because I'm like a bird. You're very funny, you know that? <laughs> Anyways, I also have some sparkling water and some pesto dipping oil for the bread. Dessert will be at home since I hid it in the fridge, along with something else tonight. <clears throat> Anyways, sit down, relax. We don't want our dinner spoiling while this view slowly fades away. Now, I know I said we'd go eat at that restaurant I told you to get ready for, but I have some connections and pulled a couple strings. The bread, dip, and main dish is made by a chef who works at that restaurant, so technically we're eating the restaurant's food, just in a separate location is all. Mmm. Mmm. Yeah, I totally agree. The bread really does taste amazing with the dip. Make sure not to eat too much garlic bread. 
Save some for later so we can soak up the leftover sauce from the pasta and clean the plate. So, uh, how was your day today? Not too stressful? Oh, this chicken tastes amazing! Here, try some! Uh, you got a little something there. Mm. There you go. The sun is set, but the city lights look wonderful. You should look. Oh, that dinner was absolutely amazing! Did you enjoy it? <laughs> no need to thank me, love. How about we look at the city lights for a bit longer, huh? <laughs> Honey, I would never let you fall from my lap. And realistically, if you did fall, it'd be pretty easy to catch you. I'd dive for you the moment you slipped from my arms. Now, look. Doesn't the city look stunning at night? Ah, oh, you poor thing. Shivering even when I have my arms around you. Here. I hope that made it a bit warmer. Um... <clears throat> You know, uh, I know we don't really see each other often because I'm a hero and you have quite a busy job, but I really do cherish you. You mean so much to me. Really, I know I can be quite cynical and fake at some times, but you saw past all of that. And you still care about me. Even after the things I've done. The things I'm doing. My job... It's getting increasingly dangerous as the months go by. I'm a little worried something might happen to you because of the things I'm involved in. Hopefully I won't be too tangled in the affairs of the hero world. I... I just want to warn you. Please be extra careful when you're on your own. Okay? If something happened to you, I don't know what I would do. If... If I lost you, and it was my fault... Vulnerable? Am I really? <sighs> I suppose I am. Anyways, you, you mean so much to me. And I'm glad I have you in my life. I look forward to coming home knowing I live with someone who honestly cares about me and values my feelings. It's quite hard being a hero who's also a celebrity, <laughs> you know. I know you love me for who I am. Sometimes it's just hard to believe, but your reassurance makes everything much better. <laughs> love, here I am being vulnerable with you and here you are touching my feathers. Knowing what it does to me. Seems like someone really wants to be pushed off the edge of a high-rise building. <laughs> That's what I thought. Mwah. I love you. I used to think I needed a love that would complete me, but then I met you. And you helped me see that I was already whole. You're amazing. Amazing at ruining the moment! <laughs> Thanks, sugar. I get the feeling that you won early dessert because the way you're acting right now, it seems like you'd love some. 
And if I'm being honest, I'd love to have my dessert too. Right here. Right now. <laughs>